Yeah, I'll put my grass on it. All right. Um, so come on up, friends and team. I'm going to go on this side and then get out of the way. Um, <laughs> so just as a reminder, our challenge was to really take a hard look at all the different geographic units that um, a number of different data sets that speak to the well-being of children and youth um, are based upon. And this is what we came up with. Uh, so I just want to say a few really, really brief opening comments. What an experience. Um, some of the more technical sides were, were really eye-opening to me in terms of how we did this. But lo and behold, we met our challenge. So I'm just going to hand it off. This is, this is too loud. This is good. Okay. <laughs> so, put simply, all we did is we touched <laughs> So we found data from a number of different sources, some of it tabular, some of it spatial. Um, and all we did was smush them together, which took a little bit of time, in fact, that probably took the most of the time that we actually had. And then we put it on here, in a way that not only we can see it, interact with it, but we can also manipulate the data that you're able to see on this map. Now the dream that we were hoping to get to is to have the ability to filter through a number of these different layers through client commands, so through the person who's actually Looking at the map, you have the ability to take a button, press next layer, look at a different layer. Can we go to the. Uh, yeah, so, so uh, I wanted to create a deliverable. Uh, so, from a management point of view, one of the things that we wanted to look at was connecting youth to care, connecting youth to positive social outcomes. So, we looked at youth recidivism, and we basically found that in the north you have. Can you scroll up a little bit? Um, Sorry, yeah. Uh, in the north, you have about 28 or so uh, clients per worker. In the south, or the central region where we are, about three clients per worker. So if you go down, you can actually see that the um, recidivism rates are going to actually be higher in the north. And one of the things that we were looking at was actually a misallocation of resources where you have fewer uh, clients per caseworker than transferring it that way. So. One more map. And we have one more map. If this wasn't enough for you, we thought, oh, why do we want? Why, why wouldn't we do something a little more qualitative? So we were able to create this map as well. And you see these blue and these orange dots. And I'll get out of the way and point your attention down to this tiny little legend down here. We have the orange dots representing hashtag uh, on youth which is Ontario Youth, which is the hashtag that the ministry uses to really drive conversation on these topics. And the blue is hashtag on poly, and I think we know that that's just politics in Ontario. And if we can hover over some of these things, what we've, able, what we've been able to do is geocode where these tweets have actually come from. So it's really an interesting way to uh, compare it with some of the more quantitative data. What folks are saying about some of the, uh, the experiences that they're having. I know it's kind of hard to see here. But um, this is definitely a step in a direction where we're marrying qualitative and quantitative data. Um, absolutely incredible. So this was very much for our team, the cherry on top, um, something over and above what we had expected with our challenge. So not only did we meet our challenge, we zoomed right over it. So thank you very much.